Rod, I'd like to discuss today our pre-construction meeting. As you're probably well aware, as we're very process driven, we've done a video on the process overall and we break them down into parts and weekly we remind people with our weekly status report of when these meetings will be. And today's discussion, I'd like to talk about our pre-construction meeting. This is a form that we use for each meeting. We prepare in advance. We ask our clients to do so as well. So let me just kind of explain what's on this form. On the left are notes. So we'll we'll put items in the notes section preparing us for the meeting of what we want to talk about. We suggest you use your form the same way. Then below the box below is after the meeting is what our follow up tasks would be. We, we write those in there. A pre-construction meeting is, is really when the permits come back from the municipality and we're ready to start, start the home. So there's a, a lot of desire to get going by all parties and we want to make sure we uh, cross our T's and dot our I's before we start. We really want to get everything that we know from you uh, documented so when we go start the job, it's very clean, organized and uh, processed really well. Uh, this form we ask that we uh, write your name and date and who is there. Nicole is our, our designer, the site superintendent, and the, the estimated completion date would be uh, installed right there. The first topic on the agenda would be roles and introduction. Just make sure everyone gets comfortable with each other and who does what. Uh, number two, the review of tools. We will review uh, the first item is the weekly updates kind of get you back in tune. We've been sending weekly updates on really more of the design and when we're permits are coming out, now we're going to refocus really to a production schedule of the home, the move in goals and not the communication tools that we use. We'll review our walkthrough processes and client participation. We really want to know if you have any days that you'll be on vacation or out of town or health issues, whatever you got going, we want to pre-plan our walkthrough dates accordingly. We'll review in total the work package, the selections worksheets, the design documents, and the outstanding uh, detail of the design, maybe some due dates of some decisions that still need to be made. We'll also talk about changes to work, uh, basically change orders in the timeline and effect and payment procedures. The next topic, number three, on-site communication rules with subs and emergencies. We want to really define what an emergency is. That's typically, it could be vandalism, could be maybe um, water, maybe a water line got broken or something like that. Fire, obviously that's pretty rare, but we really want to know those type of things right now. The other types of communication is more of a timing thing, and that's why we like to use the weekly. Uh, you, we send those out on Tuesday afternoons. We try to have your feedback by Friday, and that allows us all to kind of swim together in the same pool, so to speak. A meeting and walkthroughs, obviously with the COVID information, we actually want to talk about the safety rules that we need to, to do. We have the, the right personal protection equipment. You might want to have your own as well, but we'll be ready for both in the safe distancing that we uh, comply with with the state rules. Number four, we'll review in detail uh, the plans and we'll redline. Uh, obviously, there's some things that could happen that you may have changed your mind on and we want to note that on the plan. So we'll, we'll label right on the plans where you want your, your gas lines, maybe a barbecue outlet, hose bibs, if it's on a rural job, the propane area. Any type of framing changes, windows, doors, some special notes. Uh, siding details, we really want to know uh, if, if that looks good or if you want to make some changes to maybe where the stone goes or the soffit types. Uh, review the goals for min minimizing steps. We're really into this. We really want to deliver homes with little or no steps, so we want to talk about that. Normally a chimney state chase is siding. We just want to confirm that on this walkthrough. It could be either or, but stone's pretty rare because it's quite expensive. 
We want to talk about the attic access. If you might want a ladder to get up there. Also want to talk about where your crawl space locations are. We, we really work hard on providing insulation and comfort for the home as part of insulating these interior walls. So we talk about the sound insulation and placement of that. Review our standard landscape plan as well. Number five, we ask that you sign all the plans. Uh, we'll have a trust and a plot plan, a stormwater plan on acreage. Those things come into more red line sets as well. And then we ask that what kind of goals we might have for each other. Quail may have some separate goals. The clients might have some separate goals. Then we bring those goals together. I thank you for listening to our pre-construction meeting a documentation that we use and also how we go about it. Thank you.